Hi guys, this is Abi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use the System Manager's Parameter Store using the command line interface in AWS. Let's get into it. Let's start by navigating to the Systems Manager service, then click on Parameter Store in the left menu, then hit Create Parameter. Give your parameter a name or a path. I'm going to choose a path called slash db slash mysql. I'm going to leave the tier to standard and type to string and then enter a value called mydbhostname1. Hit create parameter, then let's create one more parameter. This one I'm going to call slash db slash oracle. For value, I'm going to pick mydb hostname2, then hit the create button. For the third parameter, I'm going to call it slash db slash mongodb, and this time I'm going to choose the type of secure string. For KMS key source, let's pick the default KMS key ID that's managed by AWS. Give it a value of mydb hostname3, then hit create parameter. To access these parameters through the command line interface, let's first fire up our AWS Cloud Shell. Here, I'm going to use the AWS SSM get parameter command with the hyphen hyphen name switch to get the value of slash db slash mysql path parameter. Similarly, you can get the value of slash db slash mongodb parameter. Since the slash db slash mongodb parameter was encrypted, you can see the value is an encrypted string instead of the original value. To get the decrypted value, use the hyphen hyphen with decryption switch. Now say you wanted to get all the parameter values under the slash db path. To do that, use the AWS SSM get parameters by path command. Now I want you to pay attention to two things when using parameter paths. Attention! Number one, the parameter name hierarchy can have a maximum of 15 levels. Number two, if a user has access to a path say slash db, then they also have access to all levels of that path. Say for example, slash db slash fraud, slash mysql. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, 